What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're gonna to do a exercise tutorial clip. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these lately, so let me know if you like this, if you found it useful, informative, and somewhat entertaining. Let me know. Today we're gonna to be talking about triceps. In particular, a couple different exercises that really stimulate the triceps. We train triceps today, so it only seemed fitting. Now, in order to kind of figure out what kind of exercises are gonna be best for this muscle group, it's first important to understand the anatomy of the tricep. So, tricep means three. You have three heads of the tricep. So, first of all, talking about triceps, probably see my triceps flexing as I'm writing this on the board here. So, we have our lateral head, all right? The lateral head of the tricep is what you see predominantly when people talk about the horseshoe. So like that part there that goes down towards the elbow, that is all the lateral head. You have the medial head, and the medial head is a little bit harder to see. It's kind of like down beneath here towards your elbow, close to your elbow. It's kind of underneath the long head of the tricep, so it's harder to see, but it's very important because it helps in the overall stability of the tricep movement. So last but not least, we have the long head. And the long head of the tricep makes up the majority of the tricep. Your arm entirely is mostly tricep. So like if you're trying to get bigger arms and improve the size and overall structure of your arm, you need to really focus on the triceps. Biceps are obviously important as well, but the majority of your arm is built up from triceps, so it's important to have good tricep development. So the long head in particular, that is the, that's like when you're looking at the back of the arm, that big meaty chunk there, that's all long head. And the interesting thing about the long head, the lateral and medial head basically attach at the elbow joint, right there at those tendons, and they go up and they attach at the other point on the upper portion of the arm. The long head of the tricep is the only part of the tricep that goes past the shoulder joint and attaches to the scapula. It attaches back here. So any, any extension of the arm is gonna engage all three of those muscular heads. The long head is different than the other two because it has a higher uh, attachment point and therefore is involved in more movement. So anytime you bring the arm like back behind you, and are engaging that scapular tie in there, that's all long head part of the tricep. So taking that into consideration, since the long head makes up the majority of the tricep, the tricep makes up the majority of the arm, it's important to find exercises that really stimulate the long head in particular, but all three tricep movements. It's incredibly hot in this gym right now. I'm probably beating up in sweat, so just bear with me. There's no fans. This is a warehouse gym. We got Crystal on the camera back here. Come in, come in closer. Can you see the beads of sweat pooling up on her head? It's like, I can like just feel it, like, and I can't really itch myself, but you know, like when your like sweat is like dripping, it like itches and I can't itch it because I'm- You can't scratch it? Yeah, I can't scratch it because I'm on the other side of the camera. <laughs> it's like dripping down my back. It's hot, it's hot in here. All right, so as we mentioned before, since the long head is the larger portion of the tricep, and goes past that shoulder joint and ties into the scapular region there. Anytime you extend your arm up above your head, you're really gonna stretch that out. So the farthest you get from where it ties in at the elbow to where it ties in at the, the scapular plane there, the farther that range of motion is, the more you're gonna stretch out that portion of the tricep. So think of exercises that involve you know, overhead extensions and stuff of that nature. One really, really good one is a skull crusher or a lying tricep extension. So you don't need to go crazy heavy with this exercise, but you can go, you can load this up pretty heavy and focus on the power. And I mean, this is great for power, hypertrophy, strength, all the above, because you can go heavy, but you're getting a good range of motion. One of my favorite tricep exercises, we do it pretty much every week. So in order to do this correctly, grab your dumbbells, position yourself on the bench, and then basically you want to, you can have your, have, make sure your feet are flat on the ground. And this is where a lot of people mess up, especially with dumbbells. So right now the dumbbells are directly above my head. So all the weight is basically loaded on my skeletal structure. There's hardly any resistance on the tricep muscle itself. So at the top of the movement here, 
you want to bring your arms towards your head, just past your head, probably like at a 20 degree angle or so off center. And then when you go down, you can go down below your head. This is another benefit of the dumbbells because you get more range of motion. You can do this with an easy curl bar as well. But by using dumbbells, you can go down farther. And then rather than going straight up vertical, which is gonna transfer all the weight to your skeletal structure, you wanna end the movement off center, like such. And by doing that, you're gonna stretch out that long head because you're having a greater distance between the two muscular tie-in points. So this right here is a outstanding tricep exercise. Another benefit of this exercise is once you reach muscular fatigue and you can no longer perform the movement correctly, it's really easy to roll in and then transition into like a close grip bench press. Or you could do like a negative. So once you reach failure and you can no longer do the skull crushing style movement, the extension. So say I'm reaching failure right now, I can roll in, do a close grip bench press rotate forward a little bit, and then do a negative on the movement. Close grip, roll forward, negative on the movement. Now, it's a really good exercise for, like I said, multiple different reasons. Main, main one being you're gonna have more of a stretch of the long head of the tricep. Now, like I said before, since the tricep, since the long head ties in at your scapular region, any other exercises that involve you bringing your arm back behind you is gonna activate that full contraction point. So if you're doing a movement and you are always staying in front of your body, you're not gonna reach the full contraction of that tricep point. So a really good exercise to illustrate that would be a uh, kickback, a tricep kickback. You're gonna to wanna to use a lighter weight with this one because it's it's hard to have a lot of resistance with that full contraction point. So grab like a 10 pound dumbbell, five pound dumbbell, wherever you're at, and then focus on bringing your arm back behind your body, squeezing that at the very top of the movement. And you don't want to use a whole lot of momentum. You want to kind of keep good control throughout the whole range of motion. So go back, hold it and squeeze, and then come back down. When you come all the way forward, Gravity is kind of in your favor and there's not really much tension on the tricep itself. Again, you're just kind of holding a dumbbell there. So going just shy of that and keeping constant tension on the tricep. Going back behind the body. You're gonna really feel that contraction in the long head specifically. And those are two particularly good exercises for the long head of the tricep. Like I said, since the tricep consists of the majority of the arm, or since the arm consists most of the tricep, however you want to word that, and the long head is the largest muscular head of the tricep. These two exercises in particular are great ways to stimulate that head and fully reach your tricep potential. So let me know if you like this video. I'll definitely be making more of them. Talk to you soon.